good evening ladies and gentlemen I'm here for a quick tutorial for a uh, scale form in unity because I was actually searching for tutorials and found this guy over here it was kind of discouraging but <laughs> it was in the Sao Paulo game jam 2013 and I thought well if it didn't work it, it won't it won't be such a waste so I tried I figured it out and I made it happen with a few copy and paste from the tutorials inside the, the package. I've already have here my Unity open with a new project and the only thing here so far is uh, the, the package that comes with the scale form trial. We'll uh, copy to the assets folder in Unity and here in assets we'll import a custom package for it. Uh, we'll select it and it will take some time it's it's like uh, a little over 500 uh, megabytes as I, as it decompress I'll just say that uh, as I said I, I I studied the scale form during a game jam which is only a weekend and due to a uh, job and college reasons I unfortunately didn't have time to uh, uh, go deeper into scale form so I couldn't actually study it more so I won't have all the answers for you but I make sure that you can uh, put it up and running you know uh, call uh, make unity call flash and make flash call unity uh, exchange, some, exchange some parameters so you can at least do the basics and from there on you can study a little bit yourself I'll make a quick stop I make quick pause in this video because this uh, decompressing will take a little longer see ya okay we have the package open uh, there's a lot of material in here uh, spe especially because of the tutorials that comes within the package like FBXs and stuff for now I'll just import everything it will take a little longer but I'll pause the video again and just as a quick reminder the in the uh, GDC of 2011 or 12, don't remember, there was a presentation of uh, the scale form from the Autodesk guys and he said that by then the scale form for Unity was only accepting uh, Flash Player 10, which probably they had it updated since uh, the tutorials that comes, that comes within this package are already exporting for Flash Player 11. So another small st small stop and we'll be right on. And okay, we have everything we need here. Inside the scripts folder, there's a scale form folder with this my camera script, which we will uh, uh, take off a few chunks of code for our own to work. And inside the SWF Swift folder, we have this main menu which is the flash, which, which is the script that will actually control the flash. This my camera, will, which we will make one of our own, is a code that had to extend from the SF camera. And the guy, the engineer from Autodesk, suggested that we put it on the main camera. But if, if you will destroy it later, you can add another object here in hierarchy to add it but it's important that, it, that there's an object with it by the time you run your code so for now we'll add a folder here so we can add our own scripts we'll call this uh, scale for tutorial and we'll create another code for our camera so let's call it for instance, uh, flash camera. Okay, so what we'll need from this my camera code, basically, I'll I usually help the using parts, so I'm uh, I'm sure that I'll have everything I need. We'll have to extend, as I said, the SF camera and. Here in the beginning, you say you see that it has a uh, variable from the main menu class that will control the flash. 
call it demo one. I'll make another code for us. Let's here add another script and make it my flash. This is the guy who will actually control the flash. This main menu, I'll let it open because, as I said, we'll also grab a few bytes of code here. And the my flash. Okay. So in the flash camera, it's well. Uh, okay, I guess I didn't save it. So again, reimporting all the stuff. Make it extend from SF camera. We can delete everything else from here and create a public flash. Let's just name it uh, TT from tutorial flash and equals no as it is here in the original. Uh, all this stuff is from the this tutorial. We won't need it for now. And what we'll need is this start function that will uh, require your keys and will actually start the render. So we'll throw it. Ooh, got that. Sorry. We'll throw it in here. I didn't actually use this texture count, so I'll remove it from here. I'll grab my my own key, which you're you're uh, welcome to try to copy, but it will probably be uh, will be expired by the time you do so, because it will expire like a couple of days. And there's something really important while I try I was trying to make it work is that every time that I put an update function in this uh, camera function, it uh, the, the, the flash simply wouldn't show up. I don't know why, I'm really sorry for that. But there's a workaround if you need an update in this script. So for now, we'll just uh, grab the code here in this function, create game hunt, which actually creates the flash. I even tried to uh, make the way it's here, I tried to put all this code inside the update and nothing worked. So I really sorry that I don't know why is that so okay this guy demo one if you remember from the other code is the guy that used to control the flash which for, for us will be this TT flash so we'll change its um, its class here and we'll al alter the name of the Swift file in a moment this guy's nearly done Okay, so we'll come to my flash. It will be close to this main menu guy. It will extend from movie and we'll use this guys up here. So we'll just change it to movie and we will delete everything inside of it. What we'll need actually is just this little bit of start. The variables from the flash from the camera, from the like, from the code that is creating it, this constructor and the callback from Flash. Which we could create a, one of our own, but they're already here. So let's take, let's not waste the time. Okay, so this my camera will actually be a flash camera. Same here, the parameter, because if you watch here. This guy is passing a um, reference to itself for the flash controller. Sorry for all that noise. My neighbor just some fireworks here. Okay, switching the constructor and I'll remove all this command code. This function here is the first function that the flash will call the unity passing the parameter of itself so he could be called from unity after. This value type is the type of uh, any flash object inside scale form. Okay, so if you will make a, a reference